Also, that was a really fun tournament. I just kind of enjoyed being out there and playing in that field and playing in that big stage. So it was pretty nice to play there, but it's good to get a rest here now, too. Thanks, Tom. Nope. Did playing at that tournament help you kind of prepare for the crowds you're about to see at the regionals? Yeah, for sure. But, uh, I mean, this crowd's going to be all of our fans. Other crowds, it's pretty far from here. So there were a lot of LSU fans, Mississippi State fans, and I'm ready to get back here and play in front of all Arkansas fans. It's going to be great. So being back home, it was, what, 12 days when you guys were on the road? Yeah. I mean, it feels good. It was a really fun road trip. We got some good quality time with the guys, and especially on the bus ride back, we are just all just hanging out. But it's good to get back and get a rest before the regional start. I think we've. Uh, I think maybe Rick Nomura called him that. Uh, I think towards the beginning of this year. So it's been it's been a while since that nickname's been around. But I think just from him being so big and strong, kind of looks like a moose. Yeah, playing at second base. All the replay shows a very clean slide, but LSU obviously an exception to it. Their fans were booing you. Just kind of what what what, 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 did you, what was your take on all that? I mean, I just was trying to be aggressive, went in hard, and, uh, I mean, whatever happens, happens. But I slid straight in, and he happened to the throw, pulled him into the baseline, and there was really no other option for me, so I had to go straight in hard, and what it, it is what it is. What was it like getting booed by all those LSU fans? <laughs> I mean, it was it was pretty cool, honestly. Uh, kind of felt like A-Rod when he was playing at Boston. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I I didn't have any problem with it. I kind of enjoyed it, actually. After such a great performance, you know, in the SEC tournament, talk about how big it is to bottle that up and come back home. For him I mean, it's it's really good to go out there and have a pretty good tournament on that big stage. It gives you a little bit of confidence going into regionals, and uh, just happy to be back home and get our regional started. It hasn't been done here in about seven years. Uh, how, how good does it feel to be the team, first team to do that for kind of a long time? What hasn't been done here? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, it's it's obviously big because our crowd plays a really big part of us, and uh, it'll definitely give us an advantage in the regional. You kind of spent 12 nights together on the road and stuff. What, what kind of team bonding thing did y'all do? What was that like? I mean, uh, we just hang out in the room, all kind of play cards and different games like that and just hang out and get close with the guys. You know, it's really – good for the team just everyone getting closer together and helps us get prepared for playoffs just being more comfortable with each other and closer you feel more off your mind because school's out now too I mean, how was that uh yeah it's a little bit different you have more time to uh work out just eat right and you can sleep in a little longer get a little more rest it definitely helps out uh you go to baton rouge next year they're probably going to remember who you are man are you looking forward to that I mean, I kind of am. I like uh, I like a good rivalry like that, and uh, it'll definitely keep things interesting. Freeman said after the game, he said, clean slide, good play. I mean, so if, were you cool with him on the field then too? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I talked to him after when I hit a double in like the eighth inning. He said it was a good clean slide. I told him there was pretty much no other option. I had to go straight in. There was no, like the throw pulled him into the baseline, so there was really nothing else I could do. You never want to see anyone else get hurt or anything like that but you just got to do what you got to do did you hear the crowd yeah <laughs> what did you think of all that uh i mean lsu fans are pretty rough so i didn't mind it too much just kind of part of the game and kind of enjoyed it actually what, are you, what were you guys doing in the dugout with chad was just going off like down there what were y'all, was there, which part? When Chad was going off on the home run, oh. were y'all just marveling at what was happening? I mean, obviously, if you just watch his batting practice every day and just watch the ball come off his bat, you wouldn't be surprised by that big week he just had. We all know what he can do and what he's capable of, so it wasn't really a big surprise to everyone, but it was a pretty awesome week for that big of a stage, and for him to do that for us, it was really big. Um, I don't know too much. We just got the scouting report. We know they're throwing a lefty, so uh, we're just going to watch some film and look over the scouting report on him and see what happens from there.